Hey guys, what is up? It is Dylan here. Welcome back to a brand new video on Vectory. Now, I'm going to be showing you a few cool things that I did not know. Uh, you, that, like, things that you couldn't do before. Like, I didn't know that you could do them, but now I do. So, uh, you can go to settings, you can go to background, and you can go to solid color. And you can actually change the background of... Uh, your vectory into whatever color you want you can actually change the brightness and all that good stuff I mean I like mine just white normal white 100 brightness this is how I like it but yeah you can change it if you guys want to and another cool thing that you can do with this is you can go add plugin and then you can go to this thing called noun project I'm gonna be showing you the other ones too but you can go to noun project and you can actually search for items that you want. So let's say you want a car. So we're just going to search up car. We're going to get ourselves a, a standard car. And once that, then you can actually choose the quality and all that stuff. So now it's not legit a car. Uh, it's more of just pixel art. So there's the front of a car. And then you can change its color just like you normally would with anything else so yeah that's kind of a cool thing that they have as a uh, extra little thing now i'm going to show you another cool plugin that they have it's uh called revolve and this thing is really cool um so you're going to go to layer one and you're just going to go to the side grid and yeah so i'm gonna i'm just gonna draw a weird looking thing just like a you know whatever and then you can even draw too so there that, that, that that's how I kind of want my shape not exactly um but yeah so you can just make random stuff like that so let me delete that uh in order to keep it like you see how there was the only one line you'd have to go to bake and what you'll, you'll go to the three dots here and it'll say bake you just click that so like let's say i want um let's say i just want to draw just a weird looking whatever click away all right so there's my weird temple looking thing so i'll go to the three dot tier and i'll go to bake then this is it you can actually uh you kind of have to keep layer one i'm pretty sure uh maybe not yeah, actually, no, you can delete the, the first layer with the line. Pretty sure. Yeah, so then now you just have your actual shape, color picker, and then, yeah. Now you have it baked, and then you could 3D print that as your temple or a spinner top. Uh, I just made one on Vectory the other day. So, yeah, this is kind of cool. You could even make a chess piece, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, now we're going to move on to the next thing. And i'll see you there all right guys so there's this thing called shapeways so uh let's say I, uh, i'm just gonna make a really quick uh square and i'm just gonna make a long thing like that there all right so that uh let's say that, that that's what i want uh i'm gonna get rid of this to revolve crap so yeah there we go there's our square oh let's let's print this so we can fix self intersections. Uh, we can merge layers, which just like adds them all into one. Uh, the fixed one, you don't have to do. I'm just doing that. Um, so look, it shows you all of the volume and stuff. Uh, you you can actually buy this. So like, you can choose the material. So if I want to be like Donald Trump and have a 18K gold, it would probably come up to, yeah, $18,000 gold or uh, eighteen thousand dollars uh us so even uh the i'd say the cheapest stuff is white strong and flexible and then you can just dip that in a plastic uh a plastic mix and that'll make it harder uh but even like that it's eighty dollars and that's it's probably the size of maybe both of my hands or a hand so and then you would uh you'd send to shapeways you'd go to shapeways and they would send you an email and then you'd put on your credit card credit card information then you could send it to a, a local printer that's kind of how um it works so 
that, that that that's like if you really wanted to print something i haven't printed anything yet but i was thinking of printing a hat um uh mirroring remember uh, how i said before you can't actually um you can't save the other side so let's say i want to have two boxes the exact same looking way and i didn't want one difference with them well yeah just let me select the layer all right there's the exact same boxes now again three dots bake layer one baked then you can actually delete the mirror and then you'll have them both there go to layer one baked select faces and they're both there so i remember in my recent video i said you cannot keep the other side but you can i know right so array is also another cool one you can copy your object and move it to other places you can kind of do that normally uh boolean i haven't really tried that i've tried the wheels joints and wires just adds different things primitives it, I, this is a lot easier to add a shape it just makes it a lot easier i mean see it's, it's it goes to numbers instead of just actually seeing it with your eyes so let's say i had to get these measurements right for class make this a nice 276.4 and a and a 50.88 and then we got a, a 500 and then uh i don't know but yeah you guys get the point and then you would bake that as well and then you can keep it so it's, baking is kind of just taking it that way you can keep it uh the 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 my mini factory you have to sign in and then you guys i've already showed you google fonts which just adds uh, a font or anything like that so now we're gonna get into the tutorial part of this video um so the other day i made ice cream and i'm going to be showing you guys how to make that today this is the only thing i'll be showing you because i just showed you a bunch of stuff and that probably took at least five minutes something like that so you're gonna want to make your base of ice cream the cone rather we're gonna make the cone like that so uh that, that that's kind of how you want it now I'm, yeah radial segments at 12 always move the height segments to actually you don't really need height segments but we're just gonna add them anyways just in case add that to seven all right then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go to uh, global gizmos and you're gonna go to this green looking thing right here and you're basically just gonna flip it that way it looks like a cone uh maybe i need to redo this part my uh laptop is lagging and yeah right about there all right there's my cone not done obviously we still got to make the top so you're going to select all of the top faces and you're going to delete all of them of course all right then you're going to go to selections jog select all extrude and you're going to thicken it just a little bit because smoothing uh, I, you don't necessarily have to use smoothing. I didn't use smoothing in mine, but I'm just going to use it in this one just to make it look a little bit better. And then, all right, there's your cone, groovy. Uh, the point is still nice and tippy, uh, if, that, if sharp, whatever. Um, so now we're just going to add the ice cream. So we're going to always uh, label your layers, by the way. So we're just going to name them as cone. Because uh, uh, if you don't label your layers, you'll get confused, and it's just a lot easier having uh what like what you want so now we're gonna give it a nice little pink cone color and we're gonna give it should we make it noise uh yeah i like it like that all right now we're gonna add the ice cream part so we're gonna call it we're let's let's have a uh, chocolate and vanilla ice cream so this will be chocolate uh so we're gonna just go chocolate a scoop so we're just gonna grab a sphere and just it's basically like it's really simple um, and you don't you want to take a look and make sure that the sphere is about the top size if not you can always change that we're gonna give it that 
Now I'm going to move it up with the scale gizmo. And almost done. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a little bit. So we're going to go extrude. And let's take a look. Make sure it's groovy. All right. I like it. I, I, I like it. I mean, the lines are a little bit messed up, but I like it. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of here. I'll move it just a tad this way. Just so that way it doesn't look super bad. All right. It's going to look bad, but not super bad. This is the only way they can really do it. Uh, there's not many ways that you could really do this uh, differently. So we're just going to make it nice dark brown. Uh, we're going to make it noise. All right. There's your chocolate scoop. So there's your ice cream so far. Now we're going to add the vanilla scoop. But no. My brain isn't working. Vanilla. I, I didn't spell that right. Hold on. All right, I caught it. Um, all right, vanilla. All right. Scoop. I had a little bit of a brain fart there. All right, so back to the top, about the center. And we're gonna make this scoop a little bit bigger. Maybe not, maybe it's about the same. And the second scoop is easier because it's right on top. So you don't really have to do much with that. Let me just make sure it's equal. And go to this side. Yeah, it's equal. All right, now we're gonna add the color. So yeah, like I said, the second scoop is a little bit easier. Not much, there's not, there's moving, but not as much noise. All right, there are your scoops. Now you could add sprinkles, uh, it's gonna take a while for me to do, but what you could do is you just take spheres, make them a bunch of skinny ones, copy and paste them on top, and you just curve them, and then you'll have sp chocolate sprinkles or any blue sprinkles even uh, on your cone. All right guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, obviously, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video and make sure you check out vectory of course because i mean look at this you can do this yourself set up your own profile it's very simple uh i already made the uh ice cream cone uh over here and yeah it's very simple to sign sign up and you can just you can publish items just you know it's awesome see uh i i published a bunch so let me go to my dashboard and you can just publish them and you go to explore you'll see mines there on featured there's a bunch of cool ones so uh earlier i was working on this and i made a dice that i published this is the vanilla sprinkle ice cream thing that i made i just made it shiny to make it look better so yeah guys this is just really cool uh the dice i just made a normal dice and i added bevel corners just beveled you know whatever made it look nice i published that so yeah, I have 194 views and I have 38 likes. Yes, I liked all of my stuff. Uh, but <laughs> so uh, yeah, the, these are the spinners I made. And I made these with Revolve. Here's the wires hat that uh, Merka, one of the one of the Vectory people, made uh, for me. And I and I uh, I actually she made it black and I added some logos and I made them red. So I kind of like it was like an exchange. I made the Spotify logo, the flags, as you guys know. I made a plant. So yeah, I've, I've been working hard on this, and I have 12 publicly published things, so yeah guys, thank you for watching, I know I've already said this, but please leave a like, subscribe, and I am out, so see ya, Buh bye bye